Let's take a look at ratios. Now, first of all, what is a ratio? A ratio is usually two numbers separated by a colon. Um, it can be more than two numbers, but most commonly it's two numbers. And we would read this as four to three. If I'm dealing a pack of cards and I'm giving you four cards and I'm giving myself three cards, then I'm distributing the cards in a ratio of four to three. So if I give you four and I give myself three and I do that again, then I would have eight, sorry, you would have eight and I would have six. And if we do it again, you'd have 12, I'd have nine. And again, you'd have 16, I'd have 12. So all, we'd, all it would be is just a comparison between the four times table and the three times table. Anyway, one of the uh, easiest skills in ratios is simplifying a ratio. And in the same way, that you can simplify a fraction, you can simplify a ratio. So all we're doing is we're looking for a number that we can divide four and two by. This one's quite easy, they're both even. So divide by two becomes a ratio of two to one. The ratio of four to two and the ratio of two to one is exactly the same ratio. They are identical, but we prefer using this simplified ratio because the numbers are the lowest. 20 to eight simplifies to 10 to four, which simplifies to five to two. Again, all of these ratios are identical, but five to two is the uh, ratio in its simplest form. 40 to 60 simplifies to four to six. We've just chopped off a zero there, which means we've divided by 10, and that will simplify again to two to three. 48 to 36, I'm just gonna half the numbers. I'm not gonna stress about wondering whether nines go into these numbers or eights or whatever. That goes to 24 to 18. Half it again, 12 to nine. Can't half it now, but I can divide by three, four to three. And it's better to simplify it in many stages rather than trying to find the biggest number that goes into 48 and 36. But if your tables are amazing and you know that both of these are in the 12s, then if you divided by 12, you would have gone directly to the four to three. With a three-way ratio, it's no different. Um, we're just looking for a number that you can divide all three by. Here it's three, 27 divided by three is nine, 30 divided by three is 10, and 54 divided by three is 18. So let's look at some actual questions involving ratios. So in the first question, we're told that Bavesh and Ahmed share suites in the ratio of two to three. Now, because Bavesh was mentioned first and Ahmed second, that means Bavesh gets the two, Ahmed gets the three. Now we've been told that Bavesh gets 20 suites so what we are doing is we are boosting this ratio by 10. So if Bavesh gets 10 times more than his corresponding figure in the ratio in its simplified form, then Ahmed will get 10 times the three. So Ahmed will get 30 sweets. So what we're doing here, the ratio is two to three, which we can boost to 20 to 30, which is 10 times greater than the simplified ratio. And we know we're multiplying it by 10 because Bavesh's two has moved up to a 20. Steve's making brownies. The ratio of flour to cocoa is three to two. And we've been told he's using 450 grams of flour. So we want to know how many times we're boosting this ratio by. Now, I don't know what you multiply three by to go to 450. So what I'm gonna do is 450 divided by three is 150. So if 450 divided by three is 150, then three times 150 is 450. So therefore, if we're boosting the whole ratio by 150, then the equivalent amount of cocoa is gonna be 150 times two, which is 300. So the ratio is three to two, and if we scale that up 150 times, we get the 450, which we were given, and the 300 grams of cocoa, which we've just worked out. Sometimes you need to share a total in a ratio. So Bob and Sue are sharing 40 football stickers in a ratio of four to one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the ratio into a fraction. So Bob is gonna receive four fifths and Sue is gonna receive one fifth. And we are dealing in fifths here because four plus one is five. So Bob is gonna receive four fifths of 40 and Sue is gonna receive one fifth of 40. Now one fifth of 40 is 40 divided by five. So Sue gets eight stickers. Bob is gonna get 40 divided by five, multiplied by four, 
which is 32. And I'm reasonably confident we got this right because 32 plus 8 does equal the 40. In the next example, we're dealing in sixteenths because 9 plus 7 is 16. So Mr. Jones is going to receive 9 sixteenths of 800,000. And his son Steve, 7 sixteenths of 800,000. So let's work out Mr. Jones first. 800,000 divided by 16 multiplied by 9, that's 450,000. For his son Steve, I could just subtract this from the 800,000, but I'm going to do it the usual way. So 800,000 divided by 16 times 7, that's 350,000. And again, I know I've got this right because 350 plus 450 equals the 800. In this question here, we know the ratio is 7 to 3. So um, what we know is therefore Simona gets 7 tenths and Gianluigi 3 tenths. And we're dealing in tenths because 7 plus the 3 is 10. Now here we've been told that Gianluigi has 60 stickers. So we know that 3 tenths of the total equals 60. So if 3 tenths is 60, what is the total? Now the total would be the full 10 tenths. So how do we go from 3 tenths to 10 tenths? If it was 5 tenths, it would be easy because 5 tenths is would be half of 10 tenths. So we would just double that number. But it's not 5 tenths, it's 3 tenths. And I can't easily go from a 3 to a 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what 1 tenth is. And this is the part that is the stumbling block for most people. If 3 tenths is 60, then what is the value of 1 tenth? Now 1 tenth is 3 times less than 3 tenths. So if 3 tenths is the value of 60, 1 tenth has a value of 20. Think of it like this, if 3 candles cost 60 pounds, then one candle costs 20 pounds, simple. So if one tenth is 20, then 10 tenths, well, 10 tenths is 10 times greater than one tenth, so 10 tenths is 200. So in total, there is 200 stickers. And from that, we could therefore work out that Simona has 140 stickers. The question could have asked that. In the next example, it's unlikely um, you're going to see an example featuring a bank robbery, but um, I guess I was struggling for ideas um, and names clearly. But uh, Davros clearly receives four sevenths and Nikki three sevenths of the total. We're dealing in sevenths because four plus three is seven. And we know that four sevenths equals £28,000. So we want to work out the total robbed which would be the full seven sevenths so i need to work out what one seventh is first of all so if four seventh is 28 then one seventh is going to be this amount divided by four and 28 divided by four is seven thousand so four sevenths is twenty eight thousand therefore one seventh is seven thousand so seven sevenths which is the full amount is going to be forty nine thousand pounds so that was the amount that was robbed from the bank in total so this last slide, these are, these are definitely the, the trickiest ones and the difficulty is just moving from one fraction to another.